Outdoor Lovers. Red Sweet Outdoors. We are ready to tackle the second stage on Bobusleden today. And we are going here from Gunnebo all the way up to Skatos. And we are going to pass Delsjön. Uh, and it's a beautiful day. It's around zero degrees, so freezing point. But uh, sunny and blue skies. So I think this is going to be a good walk. Uh, about eight kilometers, so we are taking a steady pace, so we're counting on three to four hours or something. Clearly visible at camera, but there's another campsite. It's on patches like this the, where the cold weather actually works in our favor, because normally this will be pretty swampy, but now it's frozen and it's easy possible. Time for a little detour, according to the map. It's supposed to be something from ancient times here. I don't know if it's a burial site or if it's an old farm. What it might be, but at the absolute top here, the peak, there should be some remains. And if my skills with the map isn't totally off, this should be it. But I'd be damned if I can see any remains from old. Well, we chalk that down as a mystery. On we go.
Well... According to the signs, uh, this container, actually it's a cafe in summertime, and there is where they grow their food. I had no idea, and it's right, literally sitting on top of the freeway. Who would have guessed? And there's something that's waiting to grow. And I'll be damned if I know what it is. So, we have reached Stora Delsjön. Uh, large lake of Delsjön. A very popular recreation area uh, with lots of running trails and so forth and uh, in the end halfway around it connects to another very large recreation area um, namely Skatos and uh, that's also uh, the end of this stage too and we have uh, approximately two-thirds left And I would highly recommend you if you walk this stage in summertime, uh, bring your swimwear. This is a good swim lake, lots of beaches and places where you can sit down and have a dip and perhaps a cup of coffee. If this had been in summertime, this would have been the perfect place for a swim break, but uh, now, uh, not so much. Not very tempted, I must say. And the reference to Hitchcock, the 39 steps. Hitchcock steps. So now we reach the beach down there. where you also have playgrounds for the kids, you have campsites and not for staying overnight but uh, for having a small barbecue or a picnic and such and it's a good lake for swimming and bathing and if you didn't bring any food next night to it this is a coffee house where they serve coffee and waffles Yes, we're almost done with the second stage of Boesleden. Uh, we're soon arriving to Skato's recreation area and uh, we're 
stage two ends and stage three starts. Um, and how was the stage? Well, I will say it's fairly easy. Uh, it says it's moderately challenging. Um, and I think it's largely due to the slopes. They are quite steep in some places and you uh, really feel the burn in your legs. Uh, but it's uh, fairly short distances and uh, mostly it's flat and uh, the road is very good uh, apart from the beginning where there's a few uh, stretches of the trail that's pretty swampy yeah. but apart from that uh, you, you could <laughs> you can almost walk in high heels i wouldn't recommend it of course but uh, it, it's easy uh, most of the part and you're traveling through two recreation areas, so there's plenty of uh, opportunities for uh, having a picnic. There's benches and tables uh, every so often. And in the summertime, there's plenty of places where you can take a swim and just relax for some time. Uh, the stage, well, if you have a fairly decent tempo uh, no rush in any way uh, you can count on three to four hours walking and then you have plenty of time to see things around you uh, it's eight kilometers and if you are in a more of a hurry you can make this distance in quite some shorter time uh, how is it for camping well I, I wouldn't recommend it for camping if you have any plans of getting some solitude because uh, it's heavily frequented by people uh, since it's a recreation area. Uh, there's people walking their dogs, their families, uh, joggers, bikers, anything you can think of. So it's uh, if you want to be alone, this is not the place for you. Uh, if you're starting out outdoors uh, and want uh, a short stretch to test your gear, perhaps this is perfect. If you have no outdoor experience at all, this is a marvelous place to start. Yeah, you get some, you can walk off the path and find a different kind of the woods where it's not so frequented. And uh, well, that's it's amazing. Uh, bushcrafting? No, absolutely not. Uh, this is not the place for bushcraft. Uh, don't even think about it. Uh, there's uh, in the larger lake you can rent canoes and. So it's, it's a nice stretch, uh, not very challenging. It's, it's moderately, but I kind of disagree. So uh, that more or less sums up uh, the second stage of Boesleden. And I'm already looking forward to stage three. We'll see when that comes. Uh, these are uncertain times and uh, the keen eyed viewer that's seen me couple of times before notice perhaps something has happened here and uh, I, I'm, I'm working at the hospital and uh, now I've been transferred to a ward where we have quarantine so people that have been screened for COVID-19 are on that ward and uh, I had to have to be uh, protection mask compatible so the beard had to go uh, plans are that when th this pandemic is over, the beard will do a comeback. But for now, it's gone and staying away for some time. And we're, um, we're on the subject uh, of the pandemic, COVID-19. Um, there's lots of voices raised in social media uh, that has very very strong opinions on how this should be managed. Um, and I got words for every one of you. Don't. Shut the fuck up. If you don't work in some kind of CDC in your country or in the government, uh, don't voice your opinion because you don't, you don't know the reasons for what they do. Don't compare your country with another country and say they did that, why don't we? Because every government and CDC makes their decisions based on their own country, their infrastructure and heavily populated it is. Uh, 
how much resources their healthcare has. So every country, every city has to do their own judgment of the situation. And if you don't have that kind of knowledge that they have, and you don't, then you should keep your opinion to yourself. It's just fear mongering and making people make bad decisions. So if you're not in a position where you're in the CDC or a government, just shut the fuck up and do what you're told. Uh, this pandemic is no laughing matter. In Sweden we are still not in lockdown. It can come any day. Um, we're in Gothenburg where I live. We have still yet to reach day zero uh, where the cases that come in with COVID-19 rapidly uh, exceeds yesterday's number. Uh, the prognosis says it starts next week. Um, but still no lockdown, but heavy recommendations to stay socially distance, keep this two meter distance to others and no gatherings larger than 50 persons. And uh, that's right for Sweden at this very moment. Next week, nobody knows. So uh, a short note on COVID-19. Uh, But anyway, thank you for following me on this stage and uh, I hope I will soon be able to do stage three and guide you through that one. And if you found this uh, video somewhat useful, don't hesitate to press the like button. You know that it helps both me and the channel. Uh, and uh, if you think that someone really should see this video, don't hesitate to share it on Facebook or other social medias. And if you are interested in seeing one of my next adventures coming up, do press that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell as well, you also will get notifications on when I publish something new. I do with it irregularly, yes, but it will come. Until next time, get up, get out and take a hike. See you out there. Stay safe.